Hello, welcome to your third tutorial in programming iOS 5 uh, with Xcode 4.2. Carrying on from where we left off yesterday, um, today we're going to do a button that's going to bring up an alert view. Uh, alert views look pretty much well similar as to when you receive a text on your phone, it bring up the little blue screen that's kind of like an alert view. Um, it's pretty easy to do. We're going to start off by putting in a new button. We'll double click that and we'll call it alert button. We'll open up the assistant editor. And just bring up the header file. Now yesterday when we connected our click me button we did that by control dragging up here to files owner and selecting from um, sent events. This time today I'm going to show you a different way of doing it. We're going to control and drag directly straight into the viewcontroller.h file. We'll just pop that in there underneath our other action. It's going to ask us a type of connection. We don't want an outlet, we want an action. Um, we need to give it a name. I'm going to call it alert button and the event touch up inside is basically the same as what we defined yesterday when the button is pressed it'll run the function or the method alert button so we'll just connect that's popped it in there for us if we move across now to the implementation file we can see that Xcode has been good enough to put in our alert button method there we just need to fill in the details for it and we will be doing that with a UI alert view we'll give it a name button alert equals UI alert view alloc Basically all that's doing is just creating a new UI alert view with the name button alert. We'll initialize that view with title using the at and the quote signs for objective C when we're going to enter text. We'll call it title. So you can see objective C Xcode is putting in most of it for us here. Under message, we'll just call that my message. Delicate nil, cancel button title. You could have that as cancel, or you could have it as OK. Uh, in this instance, we'll just call it OK, and that will just return you away from the alert view back to where you were. And other buttons title. We'll just be nil. Okay, so all we need to do then is show the actual alert. So we would use button alert, which is what we called it, show. So there we go. So in this method, it's just going from top to bottom and showing it at the bottom. So if I run this now, that should be all we need. So that when we press the alert button, it'll bring up a U, um, UI alert view with a title of title, a message saying my message, and a cancel button that will just say OK. If it'll succeed, we'll just wait for the simulator to load. And with these messages, I mean, you, you could put all sorts of things in. You could define... Um, a variable and call that from somewhere or a title from somewhere else and call that I and mean, I can I can give a demonstration of that we'll just wait for this to load and we could do that quickly as we still got time I 
Okay, we just press the alert button. And there we are, it calls the UI alert view with a title, the message you would have, and the OK button to return. Press stop. Um, and we were going to just create a variable. Let's do that. Okay. Um, let's create an integer. We'll call it our value. Let's put it in the brackets, of course. Close it off. And we need to give our variable a value. We'll do that in view did load. Method here. And we called it our value. And let's give it a value of 10. Just close that off. Now, to call that value within the message of UI alert, we just need to put a string in the actual method itself. And we'll do that with ns string. Give it a name for the object button message equals ns string. string with format our value placeholder with string formatting and what you want to the variable that you'd want to put in that placeholder which was our value Just close that quote mark there. So then in the message of the alert view, we would just change that to button message, the NS string that we just defined above. So no issues there, we'll just build and run. And now when we press the alert button, we would expect the message just to say our value and it will call the our value variable, which is of course 10. So it should say our value 10. I'll just try that now. And there we go. So that works correctly. Okay, that's about it for this tutorial. In our next tutorial, we'll look at doing some more um, with buttons and labels. And um, don't forget to subscribe if you'd like some more, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.